Acetylcholine, abbreviated ACH, was the first neurotransmitter to be identified. Acetylcholine is synthesized in the nerve terminal from acetylcoenzyme A and choline in a reaction catalyzed by the enzyme choline acetyltransferase. Neurons that use acetylcholine as a transmitter are called cholinergic neurons. After release, acetylcholine is rapidly metabolized by the enzyme acetylcholinesterase. Acetylcholinesterase breaks down acetylcholine into choline and acetate. The choline is transported back into the nerve terminal by membrane transporters and used to resynthesize the neurotransmitter. In the brain, several distinct clusters of cholinergic cells are present. The basal forebrain includes major groups of cholinergic cells in the medial septal nucleus, the nucleus of the diagonal band, and the nucleus basalis. These cholinergic cells project to the hippocampus and amygdala, as well as throughout the cerebral cortex. A smaller group of cholinergic cells in the pedunculopontine and laterodorsal tegmental nuclei project to the reticular formation and thalamus and are believed to be involved in arousal and the sleep-wake cycle. Cholinergic systems in the cortex are crucial for learning and memory and widespread loss of these cells is a characteristic of Alzheimer's disease. Acetylcholine also acts at a variety of postsynaptic targets in the peripheral nervous system, preeminently at the neuromuscular junction of striated muscles and in the visceral motor system. There are two broad classes of ACH receptors, nicotinic and muscarinic receptors. These receptors are so named because of the drugs nicotine and muscarine that selectively activate each of the receptors. Most nicotinic receptors are ionotropic, responding rapidly and usually having an excitatory effect. The drug curare, once used as an arrow poison by South American Indians, blocks nicotinic ACH receptors. Because the synapses between nerves and skeletal muscles are nicotinic, curare paralyzes all skeletal muscles, including those used in breathing. Muscarinic receptors are G-protein coupled, metabotropic receptors, so they have slower responses when activated, and they can be either excitatory or inhibitory. Muscarinic receptors can be blocked by the drugs atropine or scopolamine. Certain organophosphate insecticides, such as diphenyl trichloroethane, DDT, and the nerve gas sarin, inhibit the enzyme acetylcholinesterase, causing ACH to accumulate at the synapse. This buildup of acetylcholine depolarizes the postsynaptic cell and renders it refractory to subsequent acetylcholine release, causing, among other effects, neuromuscular paralysis. Many other drugs also act at cholinergic synapses. For example, botulinum toxin is a potent bacterial poison that can grow in improperly canned food. Botulinum blocks the release of acetylcholine, resulting in muscular paralysis and asphyxiation. In much diluted form, botulinum toxin is marketed as Botox, which inhibits facial wrinkling by locally paralyzing facial muscles. Tetanus toxin is chemically similar to botulinum and is responsible for tetanus poisoning, lockjaw. Finally, black widow spider venom causes the continuous release of acetylcholine at the neuromuscular junction, causing the muscle to respond violently until the supply of acetylcholine is depleted.